Virgil Strickler has a lifetime of experience in the agricultural industry and serves as the longest running general manager in the history of the Ohio Expo Center and State Fair. Virgil's dedication to the fair industry dates back to his childhood. He grew up on a Fairfield County farm and participated in 4-H for 11 years and FFA for four years. Well, I was very fortunate. Uh, I was able to grow up in an agricultural family. Uh, my father, my uncle, and my grandfather owned Strickler Farms, and it was a farrow to finish uh, operation uh, for hogs, and then it was also uh, cattle. We fed cattle and had a grain operation. And uh, so I learned how to be a farmer first and uh, was able to work with my father quite a bit and my brothers and my sister on that farm. And uh, we were definitely uh, in 4-H and FFA. Our, our parents saw fit that uh, we had plenty of time to be involved uh, in both of those organizations. And, and uh, that uh, in itself is probably what's made me uh, believe in agriculture as much as anything. Virgil has always had a love for the fair, having participated in both the county and state fair growing up. My parents always had a hard time getting me off the fairgrounds. I enjoyed it so much. And uh, we uh, had swine projects, we had beef projects, and uh, that was just a great experience uh, for me and for my family. And uh, that's where I got my experience when it comes to being family and working with your projects. One of Virgil's favorite memories is when his family was selected as the Fair Family of the Day in 1969. We came up here and we were able to be with uh, Governor Rhodes uh, for most of the day and he took us around. That was my first day ever to be here on the grounds and he uh, showed us all over the, all the livestock uh, buildings and, and then he took us to uh, Johnny Cash uh, uh, concert afterwards. and. And it was just one of those things where I'll never forget uh, how much that meant to us of uh, being recognized as a farm family. Virgil was hired in 1993 as the Ohio Expo Center's Agriculture Director, a role he continues to fill today along with serving as General Manager. Under Virgil's direction, the Ohio State Fair has seen tremendous improvements. Several buildings have been upgraded, which has improved the quality of experience for all exhibitors by providing new livestock stalls, more accessible facilities, and better ventilation. Most notably, the 360-acre Ohio Expo Center has seen significant improvements in the beautification of the grounds. During Virgil's tenure, the Ohio State Fair has greatly expanded its greenhouse capabilities and currently grows approximately 40,000 plants and flowers each year. One of the other things that's, so, that's new here at the Expo Center, and I have to thank Governor Kasich for this, and that is that we're able to plant uh, 100 trees here, and we've been able to put those uh, around the whole area of our facilities here. And with that, uh, we're hoping that these trees will grow and uh, provide more shade for all the uh, pavement areas that we have here. And I owe him uh, for uh, believing in us here and what we're accomplishing. And uh, I'm very thankful for that great project, Operation Shade. Virgil's vision, commitment, leadership, and persistence have elevated the Ohio State Fair as one of the top fairs in the nation allowing the general public to better connect with the number one industry in Ohio. Our fair is so diversified when it comes to agricultural exhibits and, and how many uh, families we have here that know about agriculture and all the different youth exhibitors that we have. So it's been a real pleasure to try to figure out how to get our visitors that come from our urban cities to come here and to be able to interact with everybody that's here uh, representing agriculture. And I believe that our fair has allowed that to happen quite uh, nicely. When it comes to uh, our Ag is Cool program where we allow all fourth graders to come in for free with a parent and uh, they go to different stations which uh, all the different commodity groups and along with the Ohio Department of Agriculture and the Ohio Farm Bureau, uh, they've put this all together to make sure that we're teaching the young youth that are coming up and, and then also the families that come with them more about agriculture and I think it's really helped um, in what I've seen. One of the best things that has happened uh, with our youth reserve program is that we've been able to put together quite a 
a, a large uh, scholarship uh, package. And uh, we've been able to work with The Ohio State University to do uh, endowments. And uh, with that, uh, we know that there's going to be a future when it comes to uh, our funding to help these youth uh, in the years to come. So I'm very proud of that. I thank uh, Nancy Patterson and Dr. Bobby Moser and Tom Price uh, and Keith Smith uh, for working with us to make sure that those endowments happen. This program, which celebrated its 20th anniversary in 2015, has been duplicated at other state and county fairs and has awarded more than $3 million to approximately 30,000 youth exhibitors. Virgil has been recognized with several industry awards pertaining to agriculture programs established at the fair. In 2000, Strickler was recognized with the 4-H 5th H Award for his contribution to youth development. And in 2005, he was presented with the Honorary State FFA degree. Congratulations to Virgil Strickler for his induction into the Ohio Agricultural Hall of Fame.